Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to do the motion tiles effect in Sony Vegas. Um, here's a quick preview now. So that was obviously the motion tiles uh, effect. What you want to do is you want to find the muzzle flash of your gun. This is basically where you want the effect to end. And then you go about a second or two before where you want the effect to start. And this is where I want it to start here. And um, what you want to do is you want to render out this little piece here because we're going to be editing like uh, editing it separately. So obviously go into your render settings and just render that out. I'll call it tiles. Just let that render out. Okay, so now that's rendered. Obviously you just click close. What you want to do is you want to save this as well. Um, I'm going to call it tiles. Uh, actually, I'll save it as that one there, tiles. Save, yes. Right, okay. So now what you want to do is you want to close this and you want to import your clip from the desktop or wherever you saved it, obviously. Um, mine's obviously that one there. And here it is. You probably won't have audio, but then again, you might do. Um, what I might do, actually, is just might uh, add a little effect called unsharp mask just to bring out the quality a little just add the light there that'll do right okay so now here's the hard part what you want to do um, you can get rid of the audio if you want just save a little bit of hassle um, we need to create nine video tracks so I'm just gonna pause this and obviously I'm gonna just create these nine video tracks you right click and then you just go into video track you want to do nine Right, so I have nine here now, and what you want to then do is you want to copy this onto every single uh, timeline. Um, you can hold control and just drag and drop it above. That's the quickest way to do it. I won't pause the video for this one, but you may just have to wait. Whoops. Right, nearly done. Right, the hard part is literally the cropping part. Right, okay, so now that's all done, I'm just gonna lower the quality just so this can speed up a little. Right, we need to crop each individual uh, clip so it obviously has a little tile on the uh, video. Right, so we'll start with the top one. Um, I've got a preset, but I'll quickly show you how to do it. Um, I've got a preset for every single one. So this will be helpful to save it as you go along. Right, so if you zoom out, and you can see a three by three uh, square here, and obviously that's nine tiles. What you wanna do is you wanna expand this, so it's exactly in line on those lines there, like so. And then these ones down here, like that. And you'll see on the video preview, if I just enlarge it, there's a tile in the middle. And obviously we're gonna create all those nine tiles so they'll go all the way around as well. Um, so obviously that's just the first one. I've obviously got my set as a preset. So what you can do is you can call that um, tile one or motion whatever, motion one. Um, I've just got it set as motion one. So it's like that. Um, and what you wanna do is then do that for the second one. So scroll down to the second one. Um, again, what you want to then do is zoom out and you want to enlarge in this so it's obviously on all of the corners again. I'll just quickly go to my presets so you can see. So obviously that, that was a square like that and all I've simply done is I've put this to the corner so it's exactly on something like that. Let's go back to it so you can see. So it'll be like that. So it'll be in the top left hand corner here. And then we'll scroll down to the third one, like that. Again, zoom out. So you right click to zoom out. Again, you wanna stretch this out so it covers all nine, exactly on the lines you want it though. So I'll go on to the motion three. Um, so obviously that was a nine by nine square. Those need to be stretched out a little though. Like that and basically all I've done I've moved it from there down to here like that 
and that was the motion three. Um, and you just basically want to fill up the gap so you've got obviously the right hand side, then the left hand side, uh, right hand side again, and then the full bottom row. Um, I'm going to do this on every one, I'll just pause the video. Right, so it should look something like that at the end of it. Obviously, save those as presets, so it'll just be a lot quicker for when you want to obviously um, make this again, or this uh, effect again. So obviously, if I scrub through, that would be the video like that. What you then want to do is you want to render this out, obviously, in full best quality, like this. So put it in full. There we are. Uh, render as, so I'll call it tiles 2. And render that. Again, this shouldn't take too long. Right, so now that is done, all you need to do is obviously close and close this, obviously this video here. Now you have that rendered on your desktop, what you want to do is open that saved file before. So it was this here, obviously the original. What you can do is then move this out and delete it. And then just open up the tiles version that you've literally just done now. So I called it tiles 2, which is there. And it should fit perfect in that gap there like that so what we're on to do now is just animate the tiles and I'll just show you how to do that now so what you want to do obviously because that's matched up with that now you want to go onto the crop again the event pan crop and what you want to do is you want to zoom this in make sure it's at the beginning zoom this in right into the middle one make sure it's absolutely perfect you can zoom in again like that right that should be pretty much perfect now and I'd say probably go in a couple of frames like that and just set it to default so that would be obviously that would be zooming out so you can obviously see all the tiles and you go towards the edge of the frame or the sorry the edge of the timeline um, again hit the default and then a couple of frames out about four or so then you can crop back into the middle again to the middle one so I'll show you in a second once this is done like that right so now I haven't cropped that right, have I? There we are. That's better. Right, so now that's done. What you should have, if I put it onto preview, if I scrub through, obviously spinning around, and then you'll see it goes out into the motion tiles like that. And as it's building up, and then it should zoom out like that, ready for the shot. So obviously that's pretty much done. You can add any effect you want to that now. So some of the effects you can add is um, obviously pinch and punch. What you can do um, is just drag a reset to none on, like that, and animate it. So obviously here it's reset to none. You can go a couple of a couple of frames in, and choose a medium pinch, which is there, and that'll put that obviously that uh, keyframe there. And then you go across and go reset to none. So near the end, and what that'll do will give you this effect here. So it's like a bulging effect. That's if you want it, obviously. And then obviously you can add your color correction and everything now to make it look really good. Add some Twixter, add some sound effects. But for now, that is obviously the motion tiles. Comment, rate, subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. And this was part four. And obviously part five will be coming out very shortly. Catch you guys later.